The Teen Project was founded by Laurie Burns in 2007. Already an active foster mother, the idea for the Teen Project arose in response to Laurie's overwhelming feeling that no matter how many teens she fostered, it was never enough. She decided to do more. Laurie's dream has always been that no teen should ever be without a family or a home. Laurie's vision is that one day all teens emerging from foster care will be provided with all of the resources and amenities that normal kids have. And for Carla and the other girls, it's a very promising start. And this is where Carla and four other young women will live under the supervision of a house mother while they go to college. Carla even has a full scholarship to the Paul Mitchell School, where she will study cosmetology and prepare for life on her own. My wish would be to find success and happiness. Yay! And that, she says, would be a first in her life. It has been a great year for Laurie and the Teen Project, but every year thousands more young adults emerge from foster care into an uncertain future. And the statistics right now are anything but encouraging. It's a very grim situation and one that Laurie Burns knows firsthand. I didn't, really didn't care whether I lived or died anymore. I mean, there was nothing to hope for, nothing to want for, nothing to dream for. and. Um, this project, the teen project, represents revival of your dreams for these girls. I remember being like scared every day and I was just, just like praying like, God, I need a break. Like I just want to feel safe and I just want to be in a home where there's no violence or craziness. So where do they go when they have no place to go? Unfortunately, this is it right here on the street. They're living on the street. Lori Burns, founder of the Teen Project, was once in foster care herself. She survived on the street as a teen prostitute. She says what's happening to foster you is a crime. My mom was an alcoholic and drug addict. When we were in foster care for a while, they would bump us back to our mom or back to just anyone in the system. Our kids suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. They say five times worse than a war veteran. So they've gone through something very traumatic, whether it's sexual abuse at the hands of their own parent, which mm -hmm. you can only imagine what that does to your trust factor. The good news is that something can be done. Something is being done by Laurie Burns and the Teen Project. They found a really cool trade school for me to go to. It's a machinist trade school in Norwalk. I am pre-med right now at IDC. It's really hard, but it's super fun. Um, so I'm striving to get into medical school, um, UCI or I'm not sure, UCSD. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited though. Right now I'm doing child development, and right now I work at a preschool. And um, I want to do international teaching and go like teach English or just help any way in like other um, countries because I'm like very fortunate. I do consider myself an artist first and then a designer because like when I when I design it's not it's not for Target or something you know it's for it's for it's like a piece of art. We're off to a great start but we need more help. Contact us at the Teen Project to learn how. 
and thank you for caring. Together, we are going to give foster teens a whole new life. Getting involved in this program opens your eyes to your kids or your children, once they're out of the home at 18, can they really, excuse me, this is choking me up. <laughs> can they really survive and live on their own without the sustenance of a family environment? 